Hello, this is Erin James Sharp from Artful Kids, and today we are going to be creating a dragonfly using glue and chalk pastels. Um, I like to do this project at the beginning of the dry season because here in Darwin, dragonflies are everywhere at the beginning of the dry season to let us know it has arrived and it's magical and it's beautiful and I like to do this project to celebrate the coming of the dry season. So here we go. What we're going to need are a um, black piece of paper, a pencil, an eraser, bottle of glue, chalk pastels, and a blending tool. And that's what we're gonna need, so let's get started. Okay, so the next step, um, first of all, I want you to write your name on the back. All right, very important. Okay, write your name on the back. Then I want you to decide whether you want your dragonfly in portrait style or landscape. All right, either one. Now I've decided to draw mine in portrait. On your tables, you are going to have um, directed draw step by step how to draw this dragonfly that I'm going to draw. If you want to draw your dragonfly in a different way or if you have a better idea or your own style, that is fine. That is totally fine. So I'm going to start my dragonfly. I have already drawn it here just so that it's easier for me. So I'm just going to trace over it quickly. So in drawing our dragonfly, first we start with the body. All right, then the tail. All right, then we kind of start with a filling in that tail. Um, then I go up here to the eyes, little ovals, then the mouth. I'm gonna go back down here to the tail and I'm going to just kind of make the, the tail details. Now with details, I'm making this fairly simple because when we glue, we're going to glue over, that's the next step. We're going to glue over all of these drawn pieces. So we don't want it too small or too many details. Um, now for the wings, go out. And I'm just gonna do, just putting my wings where I want them. All right, now I'm gonna finish them up here. Okay, kind of round out the wings here. All right, what did I know? I've got the arms, the little arms. And there is my dragonfly. Now, then you can decide if you want um, a, any kind of background. So I think what I am going to do, I'm going to pretend my dragonfly is in a little pond and he's sticking his tail in the water. So I'm just gonna make some ripples here in the pond and that's about it. Maybe I'll put a little lily pad way over here. Now you don't have to do this. You can have your background any way you want. Um, if you would rather just have your dragonfly flying through the air and you would like some blue background, you can just leave the, leave, uh, you know, don't put anything in the background. All right, so there we have it. There is the drawn dragonfly with background if you want. And that's, there we go. All right, the next step with our dragonfly. Now we are going to take this glue bottle and we are going to trace over all of the lines. Now with your glue bottle, um, you'll wanna open it up. So this is the closed position when you open it up. And you might wanna, on, I'll give you a scrap piece of paper and you might wanna test it out a little bit just to see thin lines, fat lines, um, just to test it out and get a feel for how the glue comes out of the bottle. Now your, your glue bottles are going to be much smaller than these. Now see what happens on this. I did this earlier um, and it has dried clear. So that's the idea is that when we go put it on now, it's going on um, white, but then once it dries, it's going to be clear. And then that's gonna make a nice little border for when we add our chalk pastels. All right, so I'm just gonna go over 
the drawing lines now with glue. This is the tricky part, and if you make a little mistake, I will kind of show you um, some ways to maybe fix. See, I've already kind of made a mistake now. We just kind of have to go with it. You can take a little, um, a little tissue and just kind of wipe it up if you make a real big mistake. All right, and then just if you need to do that, clean up your the lid of your of your glue bottle. That's fine. All right, now this is why we don't want too many small details because as you can see, this is a little bit tricky. Now it's easier when you're getting the big sections like the wings, all right? And it just kind of, that's why you want to play with it a little bit ahead of time. It's just to see how, with your squeezing, um, how much glue comes out. I'm going to do the body here. All right, now I'm going to keep going and I will come back to you in just a second. All right, now there we go. I've jumped ahead a little bit and I've finished up um, tracing over with all of my glue. Now, um, when you are all done and you can go through and just some troubleshooting things here so if you if you're getting lots of um, glue marks that are too fat you can always go through and take a tissue and just wipe that up a little bit um, if you find places where you just want to even it out a little after you're all done just kind of take your bottle and and you know go over it one more time just can maybe just even it out you don't even have to squeeze out more glue but just just to make that even so now remember these these glue um, outlines here this is going to create our border basically it's like we're drawing with glue all right so that when this dries um, it's going to be really nice um, a nice border for us to draw in our oil our chalk pastels all right so if you want to go through and fix any of that you can now these legs are obviously going to be black and so they will dry it will dry clear now this isn't a perfect art obviously if you make a little mistake even me look i mean it's not perfect that's okay that's okay we're just here to have fun all right so there you go um this is it for today. Then once you're at a place where you are happy with it, your name is already on the back, so we don't need to worry about that. This is our stopping point for today. You are going to put this in the drying rack. And next week when you come back, this will all be dry and we will get right into it and start coloring in with chalk pastels. All right.